Hey everybody, it's Mystic, and real quick before I start this guide, one thing I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video is that you are going to need the expansion packs in order to follow this guide in its entirety. There are several of the Sims 2 expansion packs that I use, especially Nightlife. That's probably the most important one, with free time being the second most important. So in order for you to fully be able to use this guide, just make sure that you do have the expansion packs. I use the Sims 2 Complete Collection on Origin, um, so that one is definitely recommended, but if you don't have that, just make sure you have at least the expansions that you need in order to run an extreme legacy start. So just wanted to let you know that, and yeah, hopefully you enjoy this guide. Hello everybody, it's Mystic, and welcome to my library. So I've been wanting to start a Sims 2 Legacy Challenge family, and I thought rather than just starting up a Let's Play, and starting the family that I would do a guide on how to start a uh, advanced rules slash extreme start Sims 2 Legacy Challenge. And what that means is the advanced rules of the Sims 2 have some handicaps that you can choose to add to the challenge. And if you complete them all at the end of the challenge, which, you know, when your family reaches 10 generations, you get extra points. So there's several to choose from. You don't have, you can choose up to 10 points of handicaps um, or you can choose just a few. And extreme is one of them. And basically what it is, is you have to start on the largest lot possible, which is this five by six lot. So basically you click on this little house and then you click on the empty lots and you click on the six or five by six one and you can put it wherever you want. Again, it'll, it'll depend on what town you're in and if there's space for it. So you may have to move some houses around. Um, if you're starting a custom town, then you can pretty much put it wherever. I'm starting in Pleasant View because it's pretty much where I always start legacies. So we are gonna put this down right here and we are gonna go with one legacy lane. And I just wanna give a little brief overview of what I'm going to be doing in this challenge for me. You can choose other um, handicaps if you wish. I'm really just kind of focusing on how to start an extreme challenge because it is the most difficult way to start a Sims 2 legacy challenge. And I'm gonna focus on that. I do have a few other handicaps that I'm using in my family and they are um, matriarchy, which is you have to always have a female heiress. Um, but there's also patriarchy if you decide you want to have a male heir. There is a uh, one-way street, which means that your Sims can never use the elixir of life. Um, I think it includes the cow plant elixir of life too. I have to double check on that. And then finally, free roaming ghosts, which means that you cannot put any of the gravestones in a cemetery. They all have to stay on the lot and they have to be able to move around freely at night which is going to get kind of hectic towards the end. Um, but I just, I don't know. There's something about being able to see past family members that I really enjoy. So all of those handicaps together are going to be a total of five extra points if I am able to do all of them by the end of the challenge. But again, I'm just focusing on the extreme start right now. So after you do your five by six lot, you're going to notice that there's only $1,500 that your Sims are going to be able to spend. So we'll get to that in a minute. But before we do that, I have to make a sim so i'm gonna head over to create a new family and i'll meet you back there once i'm all loaded in and we will go over making a sim and what you need to do for that okay here we are in the create a sim i'm gonna call the last name legacy i almost always do i am not gonna change that now so my founder has to be female because i am doing matriarchy but if you choose not to do matriarchy you don't have to do that one um what are we going to name her Hmm. Well, let's see. Um, Animal Crossing is out right now and I've been playing a ton of it. So I think we're going to name her Isabel <laughs> after the little, the little uh, helper, helper dog that helps you out in the town. So we're going to name her Isabel. And I think maybe we'll have an Animal Crossing themed legacy challenge. I hope I don't run out of names. I'll have to check, but we might be okay. All right. So now as far as making your sim your, your sims appearance this is fine like this is not anything you have to worry about you don't have to do anything specific for this so i'm gonna just kind of quickly make my sim and then once i have her completed i'll join you back up and then we'll talk about the um aspirations and traits and stuff like that so i'm gonna make her real quick because the appearances that doesn't really factor into the challenge at all so i'll be back once i finish making her Okay, I have created my Sim. Her name is Isabel, like I said. This is how she looks. She's 
red hair, green eyes, and just kind of made some outfits for her. I don't have any custom content in this game, so that is not going to be applying here. I think actually I might have some um, uh, replacement eyes, but that's probably it. So now we're going to be focusing on making her aspiration and her personality. Now for the founder, you do not have to roll for the aspiration. You can choose whatever you want, whichever you think is gonna be the most helpful for you. A lot of people start with family. I'm going to actually go with knowledge and I'm gonna give her, I think, I don't know. I, I don't know if I wanna have her be Virgo. Let's see, I'm trying to think of somebody that's a little bit more quiet. Uh, cancer might be good, let's see. Yeah, or maybe, no, definitely not Leo. <laughs> um, Taurus, no. Here, we'll make her a Pisces. Pisces sounds good. So she's a knowledge sim, she's Pisces. Again, you choose all of this, and then your turn ons and turns off, turn offs, again, this is all whatever you feel like doing. Now, since she is the founder, having somebody that has some skills. Marrying somebody that has some skills is probably a good idea. So we'll go with good cook and logic and then turn off, I stink because smelliness. Um, so yeah, that's everything she is created and we will get her moved into the lot and then I will show you what to do on the first day. Okay, so here we are back in town and as you can see, we have Isabel selected. Now all you have to do is move her onto this giant lot right here and she will be good to go. Now you're going to see that there is not gonna be a lot that you can buy right now. And because there is weather, at least in my game and most people's games probably will have weather as well, um, you gotta prepare for that because you don't want your sim getting rained on. They're not going to have a roof over their head per se. There's just not enough money to build a house right now. So, we're gonna have to um, figure things out. The first couple of days in a Sims 2 Extreme Legacy are tough. Um, Sims 4 really made things a lot easier with the addition of um, being able to get free food and showers in other areas. Sims 2 is a little bit tougher. So we will start with this. Now, as you can see, only 1,500 simoleons. Uh, most important thing, get a bed. Don't get one too expensive. You can't afford that. So let's see, we're gonna do a single bed for now because they are cheapest. Um, but you also wanna make sure it has a little bit of comfort because otherwise you're gonna have a really miserable sim and then they're gonna take forever to sleep and they have to be able to go to work. So we're gonna actually go with this one. It's a little bit more expensive, only by 50 simoleons, but it has an increased comfort and energy. So we are gonna go with that. I don't really care what it looks like right now. Again, this is super early in the game. So let's not worry too much about that. And we are gonna put up one wall, maybe two. Actually, we might be able to do two. Yeah, we'll do two walls. Now, the reason for this is in The Sims 2, you can't put up a toilet or a shower unless you have them connected to a wall. So, you need to have the wall there. It's not gonna provide any privacy at all, but this is as much as you're gonna be able to do right now. And then you're gonna get the shower. Now, unfortunately, the shower is expensive. So you got your shower, you got your toilet. Again, those are the two most important things. You're gonna notice we are not gonna be able to afford a fridge, um, but there are some ways to help out with that later on. So we have a toilet, we have a shower, we have a bed. Now, what you might wanna do is see if you can afford a bookshelf, which you can't because it's just a little bit more expensive. So there's really not much else that you can get right now, but there are ways to fix that so that you can actually get a few more things before the end of the day. Um, but there is one final thing that you're gonna wanna do just to help your sim out since you can't afford a roof right now. You are gonna get the cheapest possible awning and just put it over the bed like so. This will keep the rain from falling on your poor Sim so that they can sleep at night, at least until you're able to buy a roof. So this is the pretty much the starting setup here. The last thing I'm gonna recommend you get is a phone. Now this thing is gonna be kind of annoying in the beginning because it's gonna be ringing pretty much at all hours. 
um, unless you decide to turn it off or I think you can silence it. Can you silence it? You can. So make sure you silence it at night. Um, but you are going to need a phone. There are no cell phones in this game. Like, you know how in Sims 4, you start off with a cell phone automatically? That doesn't happen in this game. You have to go buy one, and they're kind of expensive. So you have to have a landline phone in your house in order to pretty much make any sort of relationships, go anywhere, do anything. You need it. It's going to be annoying to remember to silence it, but make sure you do on um, evenings so that your Sim can sleep and not be woken up. Now, we're going to just kind of let the day start off, and I'm going to have her quickly use the bathroom because she need, looks like she needs it. And let's see what her, she wants to become a world-class ballet dancer as a knowledge sim? Okay, that's the other thing about this game. The aspiration, their lifetime want is not something that you can choose. It is completely random every single time. And so you can choose to do this if you want, but you don't have to to get them permanently platinum. You can actually just build up this bar here. I think this came in in free time. So if you don't have free time, you might not have this bar. Um, otherwise, in order to get them permanently platinum, which means that they're always in a state of just like absolute joy, um, you need to uh, get their lifetime want achieved. So we're going to wait. We're kind of just waiting right now for the newspaper delivery so that I can get her a job. As a knowledge sim, she wants to either be in the adventure career track or the science career track. I think I might actually ignore the world cat class ballet dancer. I It's a weird one for a knowledge sim, I think. Um, but anyway, um, I may have forgotten to mention before, I am starting this off as a guide, but she is going to be my founder. Um, I'm going to be continuing this as an actual Legacy Challenge Let's Play after this guide is done. And just, you know, it'll transfer from guide to Let's Play series. Um, this newspaper delivery, oh, here it is, okay. And actually, meeting this person is probably not a bad idea either, just so that we can have some extra people in our friends list. Now this is a teenager, so we can't um, do much else besides chat with him, but it doesn't hurt to have extra contacts in case you need them for work friends or whatever. And he's going to give us our newspaper and he will show up in our relationship panel now. So that'll be helpful for later. All right, let's see what jobs we have. This is the most important thing you want to do that very first day. Mr. Humble will probably be coming with the computer, um, but the tables are expensive and I'm not even sure if we can afford one right now. Let's see. Uh, well, we can afford, no, we can't because you can't put a computer on an end table and you can't afford a desk. So I would say let's, uh, let's just use the newspaper for now. Okay, so we've got military. Now, military is one of the highest paying um, starting jobs. So this one's not a bad idea, but let's just see what the other two are. Uh, the other thing to note is that the newspaper only provides three job app, three job offers per day. If you have a computer, you will get five. Um, so there is a little bit of a slight bonus to the computer, but it's not a huge deal. So we got medicine, military, and entertainment. Okay, well... Military is the highest paying, so we're going to take military. I know it's not what she wants, but at this point, we can't really be too choosy. You want to take whichever job is the highest paying because it'll it'll give them that initial boost because she can't move anybody in for a whole sim week. Um, that is part of the extreme handicap rules. They have to wait a whole sim week before they can move anybody in. So we're going to take the military job. Okay, so I don't think she's starts work no she doesn't she doesn't start work until the next day so we're gonna have to wait now we can open the computer but we can't do anything with it we can't sell it um it's just gonna sit in our inventory until we can do something about that now here's what we're gonna do in order to make our initial little influx of money because you can't do much on your lot right now there's no other way to earn money and she's not going to work until tomorrow so providing you have, I, I was just scrolling out as if this was The Sims 4. It's not. Let me actually just save real quick, just, just to be safe. Um, but in The Sims 2, there are ways to earn a little bit of money in the beginning, and you are allowed to do this in the extreme start. It's fine. I'm going to have her walk to a lot rather than wait for a taxi. We're going to go to a community lot, and we are going to go downtown. 
Now this requires a uh, nightlife, I believe. So if you don't have nightlife, you will have to try and go to one of these other places. But I would imagine that almost everybody has the complete edition of Sims 2 at this point, at least if you got it from Origin. Um, and you can't really even do the extreme start without nightlife. I think it was introduced in nightlife. So let's assume you have nightlife because this is pretty much how you would play it. You are going to go to, I personally like some center south. I mean, you could probably go to north as well. I just think south has more stuff. So we're going to walk to some center south in downtown. Make sure you set downtown before you start your game. Um, I already had it set because I've been playing in Pleasant View, but just make sure you do that beforehand. So we are going to walk there and I will show you how to earn some money early on so that we can hopefully buy a few more things before the end of the day so that we're not quite so badly off in the beginning. Okay, so here we are at Sim Center South. Now, there's a really easy way to not only earn money, but get food and take a shower here. This is probably one of the best places to go early in a legacy when you have no money and pretty much no furniture. Um, so this is probably as close as you can get to like a Sims 4 style of legacy start because you have the shower and the toilet and the food. Um, but it is a little bit trickier because you do have to pay money for the food. And so it's not like in The Sims 4 where you could just get free chips. That's not going to happen here. So in order to earn money here, what you want to do is you want to click on the barista stand and click work as a barista. That's going to give you, I think, 18 simoleons every few minutes, I think, or maybe an hour. I don't remember how it works. We'll see. We'll see because we're going to watch her do this. And this is going to be how we get some money early on. I think she might also be able to make contacts with the people that order coffee from her. Um, is it every hour? I don't know. By the way, excuse the uh, 16 simoleons. Excuse the noise upstairs. That would be my kids running around during the quarantine. They are home. So you'll probably hear them throughout this series. Um, but yeah, this is probably the easiest and quickest way to earn money early on. So it looks like it's every 15 minutes. So that's not too bad. If, we'll see if anybody wants to actually order from her. There are also games to play here, which is also nice to help get your fun and your social up, which we'll probably do after she's worked here for, I don't know. I want to get maybe 300 simoleons before she finishes. That'll help us get a few other things, especially a fridge, because I believe a fridge, the smallest one is 300 simoleons. And we definitely want to have that small fridge because it's not only a fridge, but it doubles as a countertop as well. So you don't have to actually buy a counter along with your fridge. I'm going to just double speed through this so that we can get some um, money quicker. And then once we get 300, we will continue on. So actually, let's just triple speed and I'll meet you back when she's done with that. Okay. She has decided that she is done <laughs> working as a barista. She made 300 simoleons, which is exactly what I wanted. And now she is eating a hamburger. So I'm going to let her do that because she is starting to get kind of hungry. And I'm hoping she can participate in their conversation while she's here. Because one thing she needs to do is she needs to find a potential spouse. Now that's John Burb. He's not going to count because he is already one of the play playable sims in this um, town. I have been playing through his family. If I remember, I'll link it in the cards if you want to watch it. But I am also doing a rotational playthrough of every family that starts in the town. Um, and I'll be doing the same thing with all of the other towns as well. It doesn't look like she's participating in their conversation, unfortunately. Um, but what I'm going to do after she's done here is I'm going to have her do some do an interaction called Scope Room. Wait, no, I can't. I have to actually get her to... Um, set her um, attraction to men. So we're gonna just quickly wolf whistle because this will make the game know that she is attracted to men. And then we can scope the room to see who she finds the most attractive so that we can hopefully found a potential sp Hey! Oh, she likes him. Okay, she likes him. Let's talk to him then. And actually, maybe we could play chess with him. Because getting some logic and some fun would not be a bad thing right now. So let's have her go over there. And then we're going to ask him to join. 
soon. I think she has to actually start playing first. Okay, there we go. Ask to join. Now he should join her. If he's done talking to this other lady. Here he comes. Okay. So we'll just have her get her fun and her social up, get her relationship up with this guy a little bit. And then before she leaves, I will... Well, actually, I don't even have to have her take a shower. Because she can shower at home. Oh, listen to that music. All right, so this will help get their relationship up. Now, again, she can't have him move in until the week after. So Monday, the following week, if she decides to marry him, we can move him in next week. But we have to wait until then. So right now, this is just kind of building up her fun and her social. And they seem to be hitting it off really well. I'm not actually sure if she can build logic on a community lot. I'm not noticing if she can. Can't remember if that's a bug or not. But that worked out pretty well. Oh, and she's actually almost friends with him. So that's good. We want to have an early friend. Somebody that we can chat with on the phone and invite over for some social gatherings and whatnot. And then Red Hands not only build social and fun really fast, but it's just something that they enjoy doing and it builds relationships really quickly as well. See, we got our first friend. So let's see, what else do we want to do with him? I wanna, I wanna get their friendship level up a little higher just so that I can make sure that we have somebody that we can rely on to talk to. 65 is pretty good. Um, so that's, yeah, she's pretty much set. She got a good friend. I'm gonna have her use the bathroom and shower. Now again, she could do this at home, but she's here. She might as well do it here. And then before she leaves, I'm kind of hoping somebody else is gonna make some food, but I should have enough money now for a fridge. So we're actually gonna be okay. Oh, that's Mr. Big. This guy, um, for those of you that don't know or are unfamiliar, he is an NPC, but he is extremely wealthy. And you actually want, if you don't want to make your challenge too easy, you don't want to marry him right away. Um, because he will bring in a ton of simoleons. So if you see a guy walking around in a red robe, don't let your early founder or your early heirs marry him. Because he will provide a lot of money early on. And, you know, when the game gets too easy, it tends to get a little boring and you don't want that right away. So give yourself some time to kind of ease into the legacy challenge. Don't make it too easy for yourself right away. Don't marry that guy right away. I mean, I personally and I personally avoid him pretty much all the time. But uh, if you decide to add him in later, once your Sims are swimming in money, I, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But just be mindful. Any guy walking around with a red robe is going to be loaded and you don't, I, I keep, <laughs> I keep zooming out like I'm playing The Sims 4. Let's have her go home because I think this was a pretty eventful day. She got a ton done, made some money, made a friend. She is able to eat, go to the bathroom, and take a shower. And now she's pretty much ready for her first day at work, which will be the following day. Now, the other thing to remember about The Sims 2 is that the time, time flows differently in community lots versus residential lots if you're if it's 7 30 p.m on the community lot once you get home it's going to be the same time that it was when you left so she's still going to have a whole day to get some stuff done but what i want to do right now is probably get a refrigerator okay you'll notice i am back in sim center south because i goofed the refrigerator is 350 simoleons not 300 so we have to have her work as a barista for a little bit longer i'm gonna have her do that real quick hopefully somebody will make some hot dogs so that i don't have to worry about her using her money for it but we'll see what happens could also continue to scope out the room hey that guy's back hey look who it is it's mrs crumplebottom don't let her see you flirting or kissing or showering or in your swimsuit. She will yell at you. She's kind of the best grumpy old lady in the entire world. I don't know why she's thinking about babies right now, but you know. Oh, and we stopped being a barista. Um, I kind of want to have her work a little bit more. Okay, I, can somebody please make some food? Let me swell. 
That would be swell. Mrs. Crumplebottom, will you? So if you don't want to use your own money, you have to be the one... You have to wait for somebody else to cook. Because otherwise it'll cost you money. But we do officially have money now for a refrigerator with 100 extra, extra simoleons left to spend on something else. I'm going to see if I can get to 500 because then I might be able to get a bookshelf. And as a knowledge sim, that wouldn't hurt. Ha! Talon to peace. Thank you, sir. I am going to need one of those hot dogs. Okay, we're up to 500. So go eat. That'll be helpful. You can chat with this girl. Get another friend. Probably not a friend right away, but that's okay. Hey, we're not doing anything wrong, Mrs. Crumplebottom. It's fine. All right, this is getting her hunger up pretty fast. So yeah, you can see why SimCenter South is so nice. There is a ton- Oh, the witch is here! No wonder it started thundering. These witches will occasionally come out in community lots and the evil witch will really mess with you. She'll either put roaches on the ground or she'll cause a big thunderstorm like she is right now. Sometimes the good witch will appear and cause good things to happen. It's kind of random. I don't think there's a thing that determines what happens. But yeah, she's she's messing with us right now. Oh, she summoned her familiar. Oh yeah, and look, there's roaches on the ground now. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, we're probably going to want to leave here as soon as we're done eating this hot dog. But she's also doing really well making some friends, so I don't want to complain too much. See, look, even evil, evil witches are nice sometimes. She, she loves her kitty cat. Okay, we are going to double speed through here so that she can just finish up that hot dog. And now it is time officially to leave, go back home, and see what we can buy with the money that we have. Okay, we are back on our lot. We have some extra money to spend now, so I am going to quickly get a refrigerator. Because that'll be helpful. And then I might be able to afford a bookshelf. If not, we'll wait until our job the next day. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just save the rest of that money until we get our job and we will get a bookshelf then. Uh, the other thing you should check, which I did forget to do, is what you if you need any skills to get a promotion in your job. She does not. So we're pretty much set. Hopefully it'll be fall the next day. Fall actually increases our chances of getting a promotion, um, especially early on. So I'm going to wait and hope that she gets a promotion on her first day, which should provide a fair amount of income. And yeah, I think I'm going to let her sleep. Okay, so she's been sleeping for a little bit. Um, and the other thing that you will get in the very beginning of your game when you first start is that you will get people greeting you. Now, we actually have three Sims from my rotational families. We've got Darren Goth. Oh, right. Darren is married to Cassandra Goth now. So Darren Goth. We have Dina Goth, who's married to Mortimer Goth, and we have Neil Broke, who is married to Brandy Broke, and they are all here to welcome my sim into the community. So we are going to greet all of them because the little welcome wagon that you get is also super great for making some new friends. Mm -hmm. So I definitely recommend making use of this. You're going to want to greet everyone. And this is perfect because Dina actually automatically started a hangout session. So why don't we... Get them all to hang out with us. And this will be a quick way to make some friends pretty early on. But yeah, you definitely want to take advantage of the welcome wagon. Oh, Dina has decided she doesn't want to be part of it. I'm not sure why. Come on, sit down. There we go. Okay. All right. So we'll just let them chat for a little while. Get some social, make some friends. We are going to want to have a fair amount of friends for jobs and just, you know, in general, having friends is helpful. So we're going to let her chat with them for a little while. You do want to make sure you take full advantage of the welcome wagon whenever it comes. And it will always come on your first day, usually in the afternoon at some point. Okay, it looks like everybody is done with the hangout circle and she's also getting kind of tired so I think we're gonna say goodbye to everyone but it's good that we got everybody to hang out a little bit doesn't look like Dina likes Neil very much Dina doesn't really like anybody though so whatever wait you're not going back to sleep yet 
All right, we are gonna, no, no, no. Stop it. Pause. All right, pause. There we go. All right. We're gonna, can we put leftovers in this fridge? I can't remember. Since it's only one sim right now, let's just make a one solitary lunch meat sandwich. This fridge can't hold a lot, so I don't want to be wasting our food too quickly. It is a mini fridge after all. But as you can see, this is why you want a mini fridge early on, because it does double as a countertop. And you definitely want to have extra counter space without having to buy a counter right now, because it's just, there's only so much money that you have early in the game. Okay, so we can clean that up because the game does come with an outdoor trash can, unlike The Sims 4, actually, which does not. So we will have her use the bathroom, shower. Unfortunately, there's not going to be a lot of privacy right now, but she'll, she'll have to deal with it. And then I think we're... Oh, I wonder if we can actually answer the phone from there. I might have to play around with that. And as you can see, our first official day is done. She just aged up a little bit. Okay, good. She can. And it looks like she's now talking with the guy that we met at Sim Center South. He wants us to go downtown, but unfortunately, we don't have a lot of energy right now. So we're going to stay here and probably just go to bed early because at this point, there's really not much else that we need to do. This has been a pretty good first day. We made enough money. We got some extra furniture, made a bunch of new contacts, one friend. So I think we're in a pretty good starting point here. And it is probably good for her to go to bed early because she has to be at work early in the morning. So let's have her go to bed now. And yeah, I hopefully you enjoyed this little guide on how to get started on an Extreme Sims 2 Legacy Challenge. Again, this will be starting as a Let's Play series at this point, And the guide itself is now over. It'll just be moving over to a Let's Play. But hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to join my Discord server if you have not. I do have a Sims section there where we talk about all Sims stuff, Sims 2, Sims 3, Sims 4. Whatever you have questions on, if you just want to chat, you can join it there. I have links for that down below. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye!